Well, it's going to be a, a big night for the Hatton brothers. It's an important night for another member of their family as well. Back to Adam Smith. Well, who would have thought all those years ago when his son Ricky first walked into a boxing gym that Dad Ray would have been here orchestrating a massive event like this from the manager's office at the city of Manchester Stadium. I mean, it's a dream come true for you, isn't it, all this? Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's sex some taking in, really. And like you say, all week I've been in and out of here. And I've been in this office that many times. I feel that I, I might just even apply for the job should Sven go. I hope he doesn't, but if he does, you never know. Have you enjoyed the, the promoting side? Has it been easy or difficult? Obviously, it's it's been difficult, but it's been it, it's been made a little bit easier by having the likes of like Golden Boy and and Frank Maloney there with you. So uh, yeah, we're learning. We're only novices, and we're and we're hoping that we're learning from two of the best in the business. So uh, yeah, I think we'll get there in the end. Big pressure on your shoulders as well, though, because you're the dad, two boys in big big fights. Uh, are you getting nervous now on the day? Yeah, I think I think really it's just getting to me now. We've been busy all week. We're doing this. It's been something. So I, I haven't been as nervous as normal. But like last night, I, I was having difficulty sleep. And now the day of the fight, obviously now um, the nerves are kicking in now. So um, yeah, I'm getting a bit nervous. A hat and double tonight or not? I hope so. First of all, I, I just hope that they both perform well and, and they both don't get hurt. And if we get a, a, a result for both of them, then we're a very happy family. And it will be some atmosphere and stage for the Hatton brothers to perform on. It will. Talk about pressure. I mean, it's a mark of how far the family have come that they've not only got the fighters, but also promoting the event as well. No, I think, you know, you've got to look at, at Ricky and say he's such a grounded young man and such a great character. It's got to come from somewhere. And I think, it, you know, his parents and, you know, Ray, his dad, you know, they've, they've groomed him for this. You know, they've, they brought him up. They had him at little kickboxing events way back when he was a kid. You know, they brought him all the way through to this place. And now they're going to take him somewhere else and into promoting. And, you know, let's hope he doesn't... You know, he's got his, he hasn't got his mind on that now, but you know, they're, doing a, they're doing a really good job and they're keeping the feet on the floor and it's going well. All right, well, the return to Manchester will be particularly special for the young man who will be carrying the belt tonight. His face will be a picture. Ricky's return is great news for his mascot, James Bowes, who's been following his career for years. I met him up in that boxing gym. This boxing gym up actually. I met him in this that gym. Ever since after that, we've been best mates ever since. James will play a major part in the Hitman's walk on once again. You no, know, when I've been carrying his belts, it's just been made my day when I've been walking him in through to the tune of Blue Moon. His health problems meant he couldn't be with the Hitman in the States. He missed the Mayweather fight. It's not to sort of allow me to fly because, you know, because it's too far. So I'm glad this one's over in Manchester so I can, you know, go and do the business again. But his number one fan is confident as ever of a hat and win. What's going to happen then in the fight? Who's going to win? Who do you think my mate's going to win? Because if we can not jump in and get him, I'll jump in and get him. <laughs> That's what I'll do. Time now to meet the man out to wreck any carefully laid plans for Ricky Hand to meet Paulie Malinaji in the autumn. Lovemore Undo is ready to capture the IBF light welterweight title and really throw a spanner in the works. Here's Adam Smith. Meet the other hardened world-class fighter who, like Juan Lascano, is out to ruin any chance of a proposed Ricky Hatton Paulie Malinaji showdown. The seasoned Sydney-based South African Lovemore Undo is primed and ready. If he is looking past me, you'll find out on Saturday, you know, when, when I put these babies on his face. Undo's out to recapture the IBF light welterweight crown that he lost to Malinaji in a fight he believes was highly controversial. The way I lost my title to Malinaji was very unfair when I fought him in, in, in America, in his own backyard. The referee in that fight, the whole thing was just a setup. you know, it's like every time I tried to fight my own fight, he would jump in there. It seemed Undo was outboxed and outfoxed by the slick New Yorker, but he's craved this rematch and believes it will be totally different. I've learned something out of the fight, you know, I always try and turn the negative into the positive. This is the most important fight of my whole career. Undo's fit, fiery, and has a wealth of experience. He's given Shambay Mitchell, 
Miguel Cotto and Junior Witter tough nights and sparring sessions with Floyd Mayweather have bolstered his confidence. Working with uh, Mayweather was the best thing that ever happened in, in my whole career. You know, this is pound for pound the best fighter in the world. And, you know, I, and I, I stood my ground, you know, with you know, all the experience I gained over the years. You know, I just can't see how Malinaji is going to beat me. Undo predicts a big upset tonight. Can you become a world champion all over again? I am going to be world champion again. Come Saturday, I'm walking away with my world title. Morando, the, the forgotten man, if you like, in all this, has been in with some great fighters, the likes of Miguel Cotto. He certainly has, you know, and I mean, he's, he's a former world champion. He's, he's proven, he's tough, he's rugged, you know, he comes forward, got a great chin, had great experience, you know, give Cotto a good run for his money. And I think, you know, he's, he's going to be there or thereabouts. I think Paul, Paulie Mal Malinaji, Ricky Hatton's going to be the most popular man in Manchester tonight. Paulie Madanazzi's going to be the, the most hated man in, in Manchester. He's got to have 56,000 people all against him. He's never going to walk in an arena. Yo, as well as having undo against him, he's going to have the crowd. He's in for a tough night, I tell you. <laughs> and Undo will get the, the fans behind him for he sure. Will. Of course he will, because, you know, he's so, cro he's so cocky, Malinaji. You know, Undo is, you know, he's honest, he's go get, he wants to win a fight. And, you know, they, they like him. They'll be rooting for him. And though sparring with Floyd Mayweather, how key could that be, the experience he got from that? Well, it's obviously going to give you confidence, isn't it? Isn't it? If you do well, you know, the speed that you've got, just being in the ring with him, just, just learning little things from him, that's, that's great. You know, he, he says he's the best fighter pound for pound in the world, and he is. And I think that's a great learning experience coming into a fight like this. Is there a danger of going over old ground, if you like, for Paulie Malinaji? I think there's a danger that, a big danger, he's looking at the, the big prize at the end of the rainbow, you know, he's looking at the Ricky Hatton fight, and he's got a very tough fight in front of him, and I think, you know, with a crowd against him, there might be a, an upset for Malinaji, it's going to be a tough one. We will see, yeah, great night ahead, Paulie Malinaji against Lovemore Undo for the IBF Light Welterweight crown, Ricky Hatton's brother Matthew challenging Craig Watson for the Commonwealth Welterweight title, will bring you two English title fights as well. So a total of five title fights to look forward to.